Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your digital photos look like film. And don't worry if you don't have a laptop, if you don't have a PC, we're gonna do everything on our mobile devices today. So I recently traveled to Italy and I think when we travel, the three main things that we always photograph are landscapes, people, and food. So today I'll be showing you how to edit all three of these kind of photos. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the app VSGO. Another thing you're going to be using is your iPad, which I have today, your tablet, or your phone. So, so yeah, let's get into it. And before we get into it, I would love, love, love to mention to you guys that I'm having a giveaway live stream and I'm going to be giving away 10 printed photos from me and signatured by me as well. And during this live stream, you guys can ask, of course, any questions you guys want to and I'll try to answer them while I package and choose out a winner for the 10 printed photos that I'll be shipping out. And I would love to love, love to see you guys there, so set your reminders and... I'll see you there. So I don't know about you, but I can't start my work without music. So let's play some music, shall we? Get two months free off of Track Club in the link below. Enjoy! So I'm currently already on VSGO and I chose this landscape photo here to edit for you guys today. So I'll be doing the camera photos first and then I'll be showing you the phone photos. And I'm going to go on edit image on the left hand corner and then I'm going to go to adjust and then normally here is where I'm going to be adjusting my brightness, contrast, saturation, and much more. Mm -hmm. So I do always, I go to exposure first, and I kind of really like the exposure here. I would like to make it maybe a little bit brighter, so that's what I'm going to do. Just bring it up a little notch, so 0.5, you do not want to overexpose your picture. And then I'm going to be going to contrast, and because I shot on raw picture profile 7, I'll be taking my contrast up a little bit more. So that will be, I think... 2.5 is good for me and then I really want to up the saturation as well because I did shoot on raw So I'm going to take up the saturation also up a notch So I think 3.5 does it for me and then I'll be going to my white balance And I always like a warmer look. It's always up to you. It's totally up to you. It's your choice um, But I'll be doing it a little bit warmer and then adding a green tint because that's still my style up to today And I really really love that style I'm gonna take it up a notch by 0.9 with the temperature and bring down the tint to 0.5. And once I am settled with this, I will add maybe a little bit of Vignet to make it look a little bit older, a little bit more nostalgic, and maybe a little bit of fade as well just to get that film look. And once I'm done with the color correction, I'm going to go back to the filter page. And then here I can now choose my filters and apply it to my color corrected photo. So for this look, I really, really love the filter G3. And these are all the free filters, by the way. If you guys wanna have more filters, then there is a pro version that you guys can buy. But I'm just gonna be showing you guys today how to use the free version and how we do everything for free because we're cheap. Okay, so I really like G3, but I think G3 made my photo a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna go back to the edit page and go to exposure again and bring down my exposure. I also think that G3 filter made it a little bit too cool. So I'm going to now take the temperature up a little bit, maybe to 1.5 and add a little bit more fade for that final film look. And voila, I'm pretty happy with this result. I hope you guys are too. Try it out and definitely tag me if you guys ever post your photos. I would love to look at them. And let's get into the photos from your phone. So now I'm going to go to landscape for your phone. And here is a photo that I really, really liked that I took on my phone. So again, let's go to edit image and then let's color correct it first. So normally when you take a picture on your phone, it's quite automated. There's no log or there's no picture profile 7 or raw. Everything is already quite automated and quite perfect in that sense. So well, let's just do a little bit of tweaking here. Let's go to your exposure again. And here I just wanted to bring it down a little bit. So 0.2% on the exposure. And I think the contrast is already good enough. But let me just toggle with it. I think I'm going to bring the contrast actually a little bit down because I think that might look better. So at 0.6 is good for me. 
And again, I love the warm look, so I'm gonna go to my temperature and I'm gonna get it a little bit warmer. Um, 0.8 does it for me. And I'm gonna bring down the tint as well with the greens. 0.5 does it for me as well. You don't wanna play with your tint too much because it might break your photo and make it very grainy and break your photo. So just be careful on that part. And saturation, it is quite saturated already because we took it on our phones, but I'm gonna bring it up just a tad bit. So let's see. So I think 1.5 does the trick here. You also don't wanna to play too much with your saturation because it can break your photo. So 1.5 is good for me. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of fade for that film effect. So then once everything's color corrected, we're gonna go back to the filters page and we are going to explore all the filters um, that we have here. Ooh, I really really like um, KK1 or KK2 so I think I'm going to go with KK1 and um, there's not much that I would want to change here maybe the contrast I would up the contrast again because I think it did take my contrast down a little bit so I'm gonna up the contrast a little bit but it's all up to you and this is just you know my taste it's definitely your choice and how you want to edit your photos. It's also your travel journal and travel photos. So yeah, but I'm pretty happy with this. Up next, let's get into people. So now we'll be going into portrait photography or people photography that I think is very very common when we go travel and we take photos with people and of course of ourselves. So I'm gonna be choosing this photo that I really really like of me. I love the shadows here and I love the green and the colors here. So I'm gonna be using this photo and this photo is from my camera. Again shot on raw log picture profile 7. So let's go to edit image and then again we're going to go to the adjust page and then I'm going to be adjusting exposure, contrast, and so on. So let's go to our exposure first. And here I think, I actually really like the exposure here, so I'm gonna take it only down a little bit by 0.3%. And then I'll go to my contrast, and I'm going to be upping my contrast a little bit because again, as I said, it's shot on raw. And then I'm going to go to my saturation and put it up by three as the other photos as well because it is quite flat. And then I'm going to go to white balance and give it a little bit more warmth. So one should do for me and then I'll bring it down a little bit with the greens to 1.5. Again, this is just my choice. You guys can do whatever you guys want. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vignette and fade. And then once everything is color corrected, again, I'll go into my filters page and here I'll pick out all my filters and go through, I normally just go through them because I have fun doing that as well to see what suits you best and if you do like a filter but you think the filter is too much you can always click on the filter and then you can also adjust how much filter or how much, yeah what amount of filter you want on your photo so I'm gonna go through all these before I actually settle on one I really like the KK1 here um, but I think it is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to take it down a notch. That looks good, but I think I could use a little bit more saturation. So I'm going to go to saturation and I'm going to up it up also a little bit. I must admit the warmth here is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to take that down as well a little bit. And I'm going to add more fade as well. But yeah, I really like how it turned out and I'm going to save that. So now we can go to our phone photos and I picked out this photo here. I really like the light here. Yeah, it's a little bit grainy by itself, but it's okay because it's supposed to be a film look, right? So let's go back to our edit page and do adjustments for our exposure and whatnot. Exposure is pretty okay. I'm going to take it down a notch just to uh, give it a little bit more contrast between dark and light here for this photo. And then I'll be going to contrast and adding a little bit of contrast. I don't want to add too much because it already has quite a lot of contrast. So I'm going to put it at one. And then I'm going to go to saturation, up it a little bit as well, 1.5 is good for me. And white balance, again, a little bit warmer and a little bit green tint. 
and then on fade I'll go let me see 2.2.0 is good and after all that is done I'm gonna go back to my filters page as always and choose out a filter that I think suits this photo best for this photo again I really like the KK one I don't know why I like this filter so much but it is a treat Ooh, no the oak so I'm going to be going with the oak one for this photo I find it really really nice I'm going to take down the filter a little bit but other than that I'm really happy with this photo so let's save it and on to the last but not least food pictures so for the last but not least I am going to be editing food photos. Here I have a photo of the best gelato in the world. They won, I think they won the world championship for gelato. So we're gonna go to edit image again, like always, and then go on our um, edit page, exposure. I think the exposure here is quite okay, but I'm gonna take it a little bit higher, 0.8, don't wanna break the photo. And then I'm gonna bring the contrast up a little bit as well to a 2.5. And then I'm going to go to my saturation and bring that up to 3.5 like always. And then for the temperature and tint, yeah, I'm going to do it like the same as always. And then a little bit of Vignette and fade. All right, so now we can choose out our filter, which is the fun part. I really still am loving the KK1, so I'm going to be taking the KK1 and bring it down bring it down a little bit and adding a little bit more contrast and saturation to this photo and also a little bit exposure down because i think it might be a little bit too overexposed also i think it's a little bit too warm so i'm going to be taking the white balance down a little bit as well so that was the photo for my camera let's go to a photo that i took with my phone for food this was really good by the way this panna cotta it was really good so again, let's go to exposure, contrast, da da da. I mean, like I said, the exposure and contrast are always quite automated when you take it with your phone. So let's just do the minimal adjustments. Saturation a little bit up to 1.9. Uh, I do think this photo was a little bit warm because I took it in the restaurant and the restaurant had very warm lights. So I'm gonna be taking that down as well to a cooler temperature and a little bit of green tint, although the panna cotta is already green. And I'm going to add a little bit of fade and go to my filters now. So for this one, I think I like I like the oak too. So I'm going to go to oak too and I think this is a little bit more so I'm going to take it down. And I'm going to add a little bit more um, green tint because it is quite magenta. And then I'm going to add a little bit more contrast as well. Yep, voila! So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and want to learn how to color grade on your videos, then here are two other videos that I have for your laptop option and for a phone option where you don't need a laptop. So yeah, check those out if you guys are interested and I'll hope to see you guys on my giveaway live stream on Saturday. See you guys!